The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to post the chart of the FTSE. As you can see here, we had this Gartley that stopped right at the 382 retracement here. Beautiful ABCD stopping right at the 382 retracement. And then, of course, uh, it started down. I didn't have the updated for the whole uh, last part of the day over there, but uh, I assumed it would be down a little bit. But, you know, we actually have rallied a little bit here, which is uh, actually a good thing, I think. Now we're going to take a look here at the uh, German DAX. And uh, that was the <laughs> just one second, folks. This is going to be interesting here. Now we're going to look at the German DAX. Hold on one second. And we'll get it up here. Paula Webb Douglas will be our guest today, tomorrow. God willing, we're going to have Peter Elides on. I'm pretty sure everything will be ready to go. But you'll see here we had this monster ABCD pattern form here uh, in the DAX. <laughs> really nice one. You can see that. Then you have the little bit of a bounce and then the pullback. And I think we're going to bounce some more. That's what it looks like here in the DAX. So it's not the end of the world. Speaking of the end of the world, everybody's talking about it, folks. But frankly, I don't even think we're even close to anything like that. Uh, if you'll look at this chart right here, I posted several charts this morning on the video for the 24-7 folks. And I just wanted to give you a heads up because we're at some really critical levels here coming into a Thursday. I don't think this is the bottom. I think this is a bottom, but I don't think it's the bottom. You can see the big ABCD pattern that we measured to. You see it came down to uh, 39.10. Uh, the low was uh, 38.70. It's rallied uh, 70 handles uh, from that spot. And so uh, you could see a rally all the way up into this area, up in this area here, and it's still uh, quite bearish. But there's a, there's a story to be told here, folks, and I want to talk to you about it just a minute. It's about the cryptocurrencies. There's a cryptocurrency, probably some of, some of you folks have might have heard about it, but it was one of the better cryptos. It was selling well over 100 bucks. Uh, I think it was called Terra Luna is what John told me it was. Uh, it was. You'll be able to see it up here. We'll get it up here so you can see it. There's where we were. You can see we, it was looked like a really nice uh, pattern here, a little sell-off. We had a beautiful 382 retracement there, if you like 382 retracements. I had a tiny bit of a sell-off this morning, folks. I'm sure those of you that watch uh, Bloomberg or CNBC, you'll see that it did have a, a tiny bit of a retracement. Uh, to the tune of about uh, 98, 99.6%. Uh, uh, In other words, it dropped all the way to uh, a penny a share, folks. And guess what? I bought 100, this is the first time I ever bought some. I bought 100 shares at two cents. And I put a, I'm going to put a sell in at the 382. And uh, that I did buy some, though, just to get used to getting ready to buy it because I'm going to be doing some of this in the future. But uh, this is one that just totally imploded. And the reason why it imploded, folks, is their system just absolutely blew up. They don't happen often, but when they do, that's what the problem is. So I'm not going to be buying anything near $120. When I'm going to be buying, it's going to be between $0.50 cents and $0.10. Cents. That's what I do because you know why? At that point, I can control my risk. So if I buy 5,000 shares, you know, and put up uh, 500 bucks, I can uh, easily uh, handle that uh, $500 loss. The other one is a little different. Now, I wanted to show you one other chart that is very important here, and I'll give it to your give it to you right now so you'll be able to see it. This is the standard deviations yesterday from the NASDAQ, excuse me, the day before yesterday, and I'll show you why that's important. After we broke down below this, you see we went all the way down to 17, 11,700, okay? Very, very important, that number. That means that this coming back, this will be some type of resistance. That's just the way the numbers work. The reason why 
you're looking at that number because if you take a look at the NASDAQ, and we're going to do that right now, I hope, and here it is. We'll get it right up. This is the weekly chart of the NASDAQ. Remember, folks, we're down six weeks. That in itself makes it very, very oversold. So sometime between now and early next week, we're going to get one heck of a rally. You'll notice that today's low was within uh, 50 points of that exact 50% retracement of the low that we made back here on the low for the COVID. Okay? Very, very important here. And believe me, folks, we could have a rally here that take you all the way back up into here, maybe even higher. Because people are looking to want it to be a buyer of this thing. If they get any indication that, yep, this could be the bottom, it's going to be a rip roar. But longer term, we are bearish, but we're just watching that one today unfold as what you're looking at. I recommended that folks today, uh, my number was 3910. I can't vary from that, folks. I live and die by ABCD. We've had one heck of a run in that, and we decided to uh, take the profit in it, and we're going to stand aside um, you know, we've had a 382 rally already today, and that bringing it up to uh, 30, uh, 3940 was the uh, 39, I think 3943 was the exact uh, 382 retracement on that. But at the same time uh, today, we had another one that was just absolutely set up perfectly, and I sent as part of that same video was the one, and I'll, I'll go through these because this is what we're going to be doing when we do the live trading session on the 17th. And folks, I can tell you with a great deal of anticipation, it's going to be fun because we got volatility in this market. It's not going to be a dead day. You can almost bet your bippy on that one. Here is the 382 retracement, folks, in the bonds at this high right here. Your risk was 10 ticks, $300. It made well over, made over $1,000 on the move down already. So that's the kind that we're looking for. We're trying to find ones where you try to pick up a few dollars by only putting in a few pennies, and that's uh, what you're looking at. We had another one of those today. I wanted to show you here the uh, NASDAQ because this has really been ripping and roaring, roaring because it should be, because it's the one that's been beaten up the most. And if you look at this, you'll see we early uh, in the morning here, we hit the 382 three times. Each time we hit it, it backed off 100 points. That's $2,000, okay? Then finally, we did pop above it here just recently. So we have rallied almost 400 points in the NASDAQ in a matter of just a few hours. That just shows you how overbought markets can have, you know, tremendous amount of potential on the upside. So these are the things that we want to focus on when we do the day trading thing on May 17th. I'm really looking forward to that for two reasons. One is because I love doing them. And the second reason is it's a perfect scenario with this wild volatility. I want to use the tools that I've been using forever to manage risk. And that's what I do best, folks. I don't care about the long term stuff. I'm interested in making money. Someday I'm selling eggs, another day I'm buying bacon. I don't know what it's gonna do, but when I see one that looks interesting, that's what I try to do. Today it happened to be bonds, and also yesterday it was gold. We had a nice move in gold. And, and speaking of that, we gave uh, almost all of our, pro where is that, where's my gold thing that I put in? I'll be right back, 877-927-6648. We'll discuss the gold. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, I wanted to go through the gold trade that we did. I uh, posted the weekly chart. Uh, those of you that have belong to the 24-7, uh, you know, we've been shorting gold. 18, 1965, 1925, and 1909. Those were the three uh, areas that we were selling it. And we were looking for it to go down to 1832. Uh, now, the low, uh, the number we were looking for was 1831. We shaded it by a dollar. That was filled right here, folks. And when I saw that on the weekly chart, I said, we have to go long. And so I ended up buying it at 1835. Now, notice what happened here. We had a huge A, B, C, D right up here to the 1858 uh, level. You know, that gave you a, that was a $2,300 profit. And so the only thing I could do is once, when I saw this right here, when I saw this little tiny 382 rally right there, I said, uh-oh, we've got trouble. So I, the only thing I could do was to put my, I could have done it several different ways, but I put the stop at 1838. We went down and it was, it was taken out. So what we're waiting for now is to see if that weekly is going to hold here at 1832. I don't know if it's going to do that or not, but if it doesn't, then we have to, you know, change our, uh, change our program, but I did have to give that much away because uh, I, you know, I just didn't have a choice. Well, I had several choices, but the way I wanted to do it, I didn't want it to go to a loss. Not after having the big win on the short side, and I'm not going to risk any money. See, once once a trade is closed out, folks, that goes. That's that's our money. That's my money. So I don't want to I don't want to mess with that. That's my money in my account. And so after it's closed, then I have to worry about it. When it's not closed. Yeah, it could still be their money. But once it closed, it's my money, and that's what I worry about most of the time. It's not a question of how much money you make on a trade. It's how much money you don't lose. you got to think like that doggone slot machine, and that's the way you got to do it. Nowhere on that slot machine, folks, when you look at it, it says you have no chance of beating me long term and no chance that uh, you're going to win consistently all the time. 
and there is always a good chance that I'm going to take all your money because I've taken in $1.2 million on this slot machine than I have given out. So you want to play like the slot machine, and that's the way to do it. The other thing that's on that slot machine that you're never going to see, folks, do you want to guess what it is? It's A, B equals C, D. A, B equals C, D. You find a slot machine that says that, play that puppy. Because that's where the game is played. Okay, now let's get one. It's going to be, this could be Christmas in July, folks. Or maybe it'll be June. I don't know. But we got to take a look. Because this is something that, this is one of the reasons why I was so nervous being long the uh, gold. is because of the fact that silver, once we broke down below these levels, it looked like we were going to hold yesterday. You remember that? We had those three right there. It looked like a beautiful hold right there at that 21, uh, 25 level. We've now dropped, you know, we're getting really close. We've broken way below 20 cents. So we're going to be down in this area here probably in the next few days. That sets up a monster. A, B equals C, D. The slot machine is saying, come and play me. So that's where we want to be looking at it. You're going to be matching these old highs back in here. You got inflation's going rampant. Uh, it's going to be hard for the boys that are very silver. To put, they could do it. They could push it down a little bit lower. But this is where the game is played, folks. And, you know, if you, if you can buy this big ABC down here at 11 cents, you got to buy this one because it's at a higher level coming back to this old support. So that's what we're waiting for. And believe me, this is a we're having wild stuff today, folks. We've had it's been going on for it's been going on since January 4th. It's going to continue. That's why, you know, trading on these shorter terms is giving you such great opportunities because you got, you know, huge volume in there and you've got the VIX at what, 34, something like that. Sometime this year the VIX will be at 64. The high back in the 80s was at 19 uh, what it got to, I think the VIX was 80, 80 or 90 at the time. And they're they're comparing this market to 19 or 2000 or 2008. Are you kidding me? They're, they're nothing like that. This is a very orderly correction in a still bull market. It still is a bull market. We're going to find out after this correction is over how big of a bull market it is, if in fact it is. So that's, uh, that's what we're watching here. Now, let's take a look at, by the way, copper, uh, I think copper broke uh, or came very close to breaking under $4, which we thought that was going to be happening because it made a 382 retracement up there at uh, 4, 427 and it's dropped 27 cents uh, to the downside. So let's keep our uh, eyes on that one, too, because that's going to be a, a really interesting. But we've covered the silver. You can see what's happened to silver on the daily uh, because once we broke below that level, you can see uh, it looked like it was a, you know, a washout. But they they washed and rinsed and they threw the baby out in the bathwater. So uh, we're going lower in the silver. So we want to be ready for it whenever it's uh, ready to go. So those are some of the ones that we're looking at. We got uh, Paulo coming on uh, in just a few minutes, about another seven minutes. We've got some other things uh, that we need to cover. Uh, just give me one second here. I will get this up here because I think it's important. This is the Hong Kong, Hong Kong market, folks. Uh, my friends over there asked me to uh, take a look at that. So I sent a uh, little special video out to them yesterday. Uh, I didn't send it to anybody else because we don't trade the Hong Kong market. But you can see we have stopped right on the rally up. We stopped exactly at the 61% retracement, stayed there for three weeks. Then we came down, we stopped at the 618, rallied up to the 382, and now we're down to the 78% level. Any move below 19,000 in this, folks, sets up a monster A, B, C, D, way down here at around 17,000 in the, the uh, NASDAQ, uh, the uh, Hong Kong index, the Hang Seng. So that's the Hang Seng index. And we want to do one other one here before we move to the uh, uh, other thing that I, I've already covered, the, the, the number and why we cover the, uh, the short S&P. Uh, and I don't believe that's the bottom, folks. I'm just covering because it's an ABCD and it's time to book profits. We're six weeks down. You know, it's hard to go six, seven. Once in a while you go eight weeks, but that's a huge outlier. So if we're, if we're I don't think this is going to be the, the original, the final bottom. But it is a bottom because remember on the long term weekly chart and we'll get this up here to let you look at it. There is a very, very clear pattern 
in the uh, S&P that I think is going to be hit. And the reason why is for two reasons. One, it's the perfect ABCD. And not only that, but it's a 382 of the whole move, okay, from, from the COVID low. And it's, it's almost an equal move to the COVID low. You can see they're very, very similar. So that's why I think we're going to be going a little bit lower. Remember, we got all of these cycles lined up between now and the 22nd of uh, May. And that's why having the day trading thing on the 17th can't be any better because that's it. I'll be, I'll, I'll be looking at daily charts if they ask me to. But frankly, folks, I'll be watching 15 minutes. And if the market's really volatile, I'll be watching eight minutes or five minutes because I want to keep the losses small because I know I'm going to catch one or two. I'm not right all the time. I'm right some of the time or most of the time, but not all the time. And it could be a day where I get absolutely shut out. And, oh, I dread those. But... If they happen, they happen. I just move on to the next day and I'll be ready. Stay tuned for Paula Webb. We'll be Paula Webb Douglas will be on in just about five minutes. So stay with us, folks. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking to Paula Webb Douglas on the line. Paula, just from my, uh, where is Tomasini? Was that your? Was that one of your maiden names? No, that's my middle name. Oh. It was my mother's name. Oh, yeah, Paula okay, good. Right. Thomasina Bernadette McNally Webb. 
oh, Dash Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> so that's why I kind of just like go by Paula T or the redhead. <laughs> yeah, okay. I remember the redhead because you were always the queen of, of uh, Chicago when Rodini's had the big Greek parades. I remember that all the time. Uh, Paula, we talk about ABCD here at TFNN on my show all the time. And I know Mark always used to joke with me about A, B equals C, D, A, B equals C, D. <laughs> now, he when he, he did when he traded bonds, I know that he, you know, I know he used that in the program because of his work with the, those yard, huge bond traders, you know, Robert St. John and, and some of those other dudes that he worked with. A question that I want Tommy Baldwin, what was the... Uh, it, is that available? Do you make that available? Or did, did he, he just didn't want it to be made available, or is it available? Someone asked me that question. I do not answer it. Um, it probably would be if I could find it on his computer. Okay. But Paula, I, 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 I have it. <laughs> oh, you have it? Yeah, I have it. Oh, I thought yeah, you were I, talking I, about how he used no. it, it, it with his own system. Yeah, that's that's the one that we, we used to sit here when he was working on the trading in the zone book. I mean, he used to trade he trade bonds till about ten o'clock in the morning, and then he was done. He'd work on the book. So oh. when we get done here. I'll tell you how I'll tell you how it is. If you want to make it available to folks, it works. It doesn't work every day, but it works better than sixty percent of the time. And the risk is yeah, much, sure. much let's, smaller. Let's let's uh, let's uh, bring this up. Yeah, let's get yeah, it out I, there. I never even I never even thought about that. Tell us what you got for us today, young lady. Okay, well, um, you know, we got a lot of interesting stuff going on in the news. And, you know, I'm not political or I'm not making a statement. But what I do is I usually take something from current events and make the analogy to trading. And there's a lot of uh, stuff on the news right now about uh, rights or choices being taken away. And as traders, we have the luxury of choosing and deciding what we want to trade in the markets. And no one can take that away from us. We choose what trades to put on, what markets to trade, and that's based on our own personal criteria and our analysis. And we all become traders to experience financial freedom, right? I mean, yep. that's it. We, we all got into trading to make a boatload of money. Period. I don't, you know, whether whatever you're going to do with the money is is a, is a you know a sideline, but we got in to make money. So if you're having difficulty expressing how you're going to create that financial freedom, this is where I come in, just to help you understand that trading is the only business that allows you to express yourself as you've always wanted to, but have gotten out of practice doing. Meaning. You know, everybody has a job. They know they're going to get X amount of dollars because the boss says so. But in trading, you decide how much money you can take out of the market, it, probabilistically. Okay? So don't let any current events or family or friends or anybody in a chat room or wherever choose for you how you want to trade. Be who right. you want to be as a trader and accept that and live it, and you will always be a winner year in and year out. Boy, that's great. That's absolutely great advice because there's so many different ways to skin a cat in this business that you want to do it your way because then it is your way, and that makes it uh, really, really worthwhile. Wow. It's not easy yeah, to do, I mean, though, because Mark well, used to well, say no, it, it's Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a challenge because we're, we're, we're taught to remember and repeat things. We're not taught to be creative, and trading is a creative endeavor. It, you you yeah. artistically paint your own canvas by how you trade. And obviously your results reflect how you feel about yourself. And so, I mean, I recently had two clients. One was doing very well at trading. Um, and uh, then he went through a divorce. It wasn't nasty or anything. It was just, you know, they just went their separate ways. And then he added uh, futures trading into his mix and he just lost boatloads of money. And the reason that he lost money was because he had that void of not having his family around and he was trying to fill that void with another form of trading that he knew nothing about. Wow. So once he, we identified, hey, you know, go to the gym instead with that extra time you have on your hands and just get back to the way you know how to trade. And he was like, oh my God, I didn't even realize that's what I was doing. So just no matter what's going on, whether it's, you know, in the world, in the US, in your own house, in your backyard, just you have to stay focused on trading 
from your own perspective. I just okay. I know it's really hard, especially these days. But um, and this is this is where I come in. If you guys have any troubles with that. Yeah, I know. You certainly helped me along the way, that's for sure. I remember Mark used to live by the, the his saying is, trading is simple, but it's not easy. <laughs> and, you know, if it were exactly. easy, there'd be, yeah, there would be a line. Go- <laughs> well, there is a line going around the world three or four times, people wanting to get into our business, but they have to keep it simple. And I think, uh, you know, the major cycle that you have to worry about is that nine inch cycle that Mark used to talk about from your left ear to your right ear. If you get that cycle inside your head straight, <laughs> you the rest of it is uh, is pretty easy. I was fortunate exactly. enough, folks, because when Mark would uh, interview these folks here in the office here in Tucson, some of these fat, uh, great traders with names that are household words, they go through the same things that we go through. I mean, they have the same problems. They have the same uh, mind sets and stuff the difference is is that they change their mind in a second if they see they're wrong they go the other way and once you can learn to do that you know that's a that's a really big asset for sure do you have any specials working this week that the folks would be able to take advantage of pt well um the specials are um living with a trader for those of you who have a spouse or a significant other that just doesn't get you um, you can have them sign up for it's just a couple hours, and I help them understand how they may be interfering uh, with your focus. Uh, for instance, wow. I had a husband who had his wife. He started working from home as a trader, and his wife would be coming in every 15, 20 minutes. Do you need more coffee, dear? Do you want some yeah. toast? You know, all very <laughs> lovely things, but yeah. not when you're home trading. So yeah. she didn't understand that she was interrupting his flow and get keeping him out of his zone so we had a nice little chat and she's like okay so uh we just did a simple thing he closed the door and when the door is closed yeah. you don't disturb so just little things like that guys and yeah. and anything else anybody that comes from your show larry you know gets a 20 percent discount on any consulting fees but remember i always have that free 30 minute chat so you guys mm-hmm. can see what i do and i can help you out a little bit yeah, you know, that's what we like to hear, sweetie. So I'm sure there's some old... What? Hey, ba- tell the folks how they can get in touch with you. I'm sorry, what? Tell the folks how they can get in touch with you. I know you've got a new phone number, so why don't you uh, tell them what your number is and how they can reach you in your email. Okay. Uh, you can always go to the website, markdouglas.com, and the phone number is 760-636-4290. I'm in the office pretty much seven days a week. You can reach me. And uh, the email is inquiry at politiweb.com. Well, and sweetie, I'd love to we hear from have, you guys. And we will. We will have some folks calling in, I'm for sure, and we'll have you on again in a few weeks. Okay, PT? Super. Okay. Paula Douglas, folks, try to get contact her if you have any trouble psychologically because she knew everything Mark did and maybe a little bit more. <laughs> All right, we'll <laughs> Thanks, be right Larry. back. You bet, sweetie. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa and Clearwater markets. Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the monthly euro trade. We've been in this trade from, uh, well, twice, 109 and another at uh, 106. We're still in that, and we're going to talk about it in just a little bit. But before we do that, I wanted to share a couple of Mark Douglas stories. Uh, when Mark and I shared this office here, I had a, you know, we had affiliation with the hockey team from 1980, and they gave us a few referrals through the years, and uh, she happened to be a student of Mark and also a student of mine, and we were sitting here one morning, and Lori called, and she said, I have to quit, Larry. And I said, what do you mean? I said, you're doing really well. She says, yeah, I'm averaging about 12000 a month, and he says, we're making more money than we ever have. They had to she worked as an operator of a, lum of a lumber yard, and her husband was one of the foremans. They did a lot of business there in the Midwest. And he, she, I said, what's wrong? She says, every day when he goes to work, he opens the door and he says, as he leaves, I love you, honey. Don't try to lose all of our money today. And I said, Lori, I said, you're kidding me. She said, every single day. And Mark was listening to it, and Mark says, I got the answer, I got the answer. So I let him let her talk to him. It's Lori, he says, it's really simple. Say it's my way or the highway. And she laughed, and she says, I don't know if I can do that. She says, try it. Believe me, he's going to stay on the highway. The next day, I was in two or three days later, she called back. She said, you're absolutely right. We had a long talk about it, and uh, things have never been better. And uh, so it turned out. And her son was in the Olympics in Beijing, uh, actually here. Um, when was it? Um, that was her grandson. That was her grandson was in, in the Olympics in, uh, in Beijing. So anyway, let's move on to one other one. We had someone extremely, uh, very, very famous here one day, and it was the same type of situation. He had a briefcase with six cell phones in it. This was in 2002, I think. And uh, when we were trying to get some things done, these cell phones would be in the briefcase and they would be ringing all the time. And Mark said, go put that thing out in the car, you know, because we don't want to listen to that. He said, well, I really can't. He said, sure you can. And so he did. And he had, we actually had a really nice four-hour conversation. And he said, he said, that's the first time I've been away from my phones ever. 
And I said, well, you should do it all the time. They're not going to do any good. He said, well, that's how I make money. Making money on the phone doesn't make anything. It's when you put the order in when he, when he was away from the floor. He was a bond trader. He traded in the floor, but his name was Robert St. John. Traded right next to Tommy Baldwin every single day, and he averaged about 5 to $10 million a year. But uh, after a while, he traded only from 6 in the morning until 10 in the morning, just those four hours. He was not able to trade after 10 in the morning, and he that's all he worked. It was four hours a week. 20 hours a week he scalped out of the out of the bond pit and he made a, a large large amount of money so Paula made a point there that you got to find the game that you like my game is I like short-term trading because I can control that once in a while I get lucky like I did in the bonds or some of the other things that we had but by golly you know they're not always going to be that way and I have to realize that because I go into time periods where you know I think I know everything and that's when I get hurt the most that's why when I come in here on the 17th uh, I've had a heck of a run here this last uh, two and a half months and uh I, you know, I've had losing days of course but I remember my most vivid one is when I was writing the book the uh uh, the, the, the private thoughts of a trader's diary and Peggy McKay who was the attorney here in town who was editing the book for Wiley and uh, we would do, every day she would keep track of all the trades and everything that I had done and that day I had looked out and I had uh, five perfect Gartleys or butterflies or ABCDs and I was really excited and Mark I said look Mark I said look at these five I had printed the charts out and he, I said look at this he said oh man I, I thought they looked good and he put his hand on my shoulder and he said well your streak ends today. I had 19 days in a row where I hadn't had, didn't lose. I had losing trades, but I won every day. And he said, today's the day it ends. And I turned around and I said a couple of letters of words that I'm not going to repeat here. One was SOB, and there might have been a few others. But I said, why in the heck did you say something like that to me and pee on my parade? He said, Larry, he said, it's in your voice. He said, you're overconfident. He said, maybe you'll hit on all five. Folks, I was 0 for 5. And believe me, on that fifth trade, I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. And I lost on that one, too. But I had five straight losers that day. Every single one was a loser. And uh, I never forgot that day. And I laughed about it and learned my lesson. But uh, like Paula said, you got to play your game. You know, you keep going. Because the next day, came right back and I started another streak again. So it's just like the restaurant business, folks. You don't know what you're going to order on the menu, but it better be good because if it isn't, they're not going to come back to that restaurant anymore. That's for sure. Okay, now let's talk about a couple other charts that we need to talk about. Let's look at this Euro chart. And as you can see here, we've got a target down here now at par, folks. And that's the 78% level going back to 2001. You can see the lower tops. Uh, I, you can see the daily chart, folks. We showed the 382 on that so many times on this show. It's really, I don't want to do it again, and mainly because I can't find it. But uh, that's uh, the last one was at 106, uh, 106.80 or something like that. But anyway, this looks like it's heading down to par. That means the U.S. dollar index is most probably going to go to 10. It's 104 and a half right now. You're talking about B106 most probably. And boy, that is not that that's not friendly to gold because when the dollar is strong, you know, gold is weak. It's when the dollar is weak is when gold is strong. And listen to the newsletter this coming week because John has written a really good piece about the U.S. dollar and how it affects all of this stuff that's uh, going on in the world. It's not the cryptos. It's the U.S. dollar that is making these stuff jump around. But the cryptos are important because we got some really good spots coming up here. We use Bitcoin as the gauge. We're not going to be buying any Bitcoin. But the thing we're going to be watching is how the markets, how the Bitcoin market will call the bottom. Now, I imagine because we had this little bit of a rally. By the way, when we were on the air, we hit that uh, uh, 3943, which was a 382 retracement. We dropped, I saw we dropped 20 handles. Uh, in the S&P. So that's important to, uh, well, we dropped more than 20 handles. We dropped 40 handles. So, And also the NASDAQ one has worked uh, really well, too. I think I, I posted the NASDAQ one this morning uh, when it happened. I'll get that one up here to uh, take a look at it now. Where is it? Here we go. 
and I'll be covering these patterns uh, on the days where we do our show here on the 17th, and uh, that's pretty much it. And also, I'm almost 100% sure it's going to be my last show for the year, folks. I want to focus on the 24-7 thing that I have. I have a couple of students that I'm working with, and I enjoy it, but mo mainly uh, I'm back into uh, managing money uh, professionally. Again, I started that a few months ago. It's going really well. And I'm going to, uh, you know, expand that a little bit. So I'll probably be doing, um, I'll still be doing the radio shows, of course, but I might move to different time frames or maybe scale back to two or three days a week. But uh, I, I hope you can attend the one on the 17th because my goal is to make money. I've been doing some teaching and telling stories like I usually do. But the main thing is to make a couple of bucks. And uh, we've done okay through the year. So we'll hopefully get another one going on. Uh, that's happening. I hope nothing happens to us like what happened with these folks in Luna. Folks, they could you, you could have protected yourself in that if you were in it because they do accept stocks, stops in the cryptocurrency, and you could easily have protected yourself with that. So let's take a little break here. We'll get back. We'll talk just a tiny bit more about Bitcoin. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market markets real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E-mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Well, I don't know how he did it, folks, but Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida, finally caught through. Congratulations, my friend. I don't know how you did it. What can I do for you, buddy? I know we only have a couple <laughs> minutes left real quick. No, we got plenty I, of time. I we got three my, minutes. My, my uh, options 
where I was short on the on the cues, um, and I watched the NQ now fail, and um, so I've entered them again. Are you have you entered for the weekend and for this eclipse at your positions, or are you going to wait till Sunday? I I covered the position today. I was in the S and P uh, and also the Dow Jones for the folks at twenty four seven. Mainly it was the S and P, but. Uh, we covered it at 39.10. And the reason why is we booked very, very good profits in gold, treasury bonds, and the S&P. And I think we're going to get one two, one or two little rallies, maybe either Friday or Monday or Tuesday, and then hard down into the 22nd. That's what that's what my game plan is. But we made a 382 retracement in the QQQs while we were on the air. They rallied 350 points off the bottom, and that was 382 of the whole range of yesterday, which is a good sign. And you got to take it there. That's the way I look I'm, at it. I'm so. looking right now. I can't. I can't believe this. NQ has come back to the 618. Like it hit it at 11 around 11880 mm -hmm. right yeah. now, and we've given up this yeah. rally already since 930. Yeah. Yeah, just what you want to do now is you don't want it to make a new intraday high from here. You want to put your stop at break even and let her rip because I think we are looking at lower prices here. Okay, good. I'll call you tomorrow and we can talk about the bonds. Okay, listen, by the way, I'll be doing two shows tomorrow. I'll be doing Tommy's Tom Tommy O'Brien show at 9 o'clock, and then I'll also be doing uh, my show uh, at, a, at 11 with Peter Lides as a guest. So oh, hope fantastic. you don't miss it. Fantastic. Okay, you thanks for calling day, in, Jim. Thanks for your help. You bet. Okay, folks, that's about it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.